Hey, you too. What's good? Listen, man, we back with another video. Feel me right now? We chilling, doing some shopping. Got my son with me. It ain't been that long. We already back. You ready, buddy? Yeah, man. So we about to go ahead and do some shopping. Got school shopping for him. Hey, whatever we spend today is what we're going to try to make back on our bet. So stay in tune with that. What's up, buddy? Come on. Ah, say what's good. I hope y'all enjoy this video, man. Let's get it. Chaz. How you doing, Q? Good, huh? Good to see you. How you doing? Chilling, chilling. I know. Get active. Yeah, school shopping. I need to start off with him oh, some yeah? shoes, yeah. I think uh, 11C, 12C. Okay. Yeah, we got like two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks, we're going back to it. So yeah. Where are you going into? Kindergarten. Okay, big year. <laughs> Leaving the house, he'll be out on his own. Uh-huh. But yeah. yeah we, can, we can check for some stuff. So. Yeah, we can start with that. Okay. You can just show me every shoe. 12C? Yeah, 12C, yeah. Okay. Every shoe. Bet. Okay. These? Yeah. I'm ugly. Hmm? Ugly. Mm -hmm. See what other stuff we have? So we can always get some stuff chipped in for them. Buttercup. SBs. Yeah, these are hard. Uh, like these? Yeah. You like these, bro? Did you pick these up for them already? Nah. I uh, couldn't remember. Like these? <laughs> Just like whatever. <laughs> Then we got the olive too. That's got all the different lace options. You know, if you want to switch them up. No, but yeah. like these. But good neutrals. How much wild do these? I'll add them all up. Um, these, less than 200 bucks. These could be right around 200. This is going to be like closer to 300 just because they didn't make any of these in uh, grade school sizes. No, these are tough preschool though. sizes. And I, I got you a 12. Uh, this one's actually a 12 and a half. But 12 in both of these, I figure if he's between 11 and 12, I'll probably go with the higher size so we can wear them longer. Yeah, facts. Yeah, them cool. I like them. And then this area, you got to kind of like, like with Kodak come is big because he's closer to this Ultra area. Zero. Yeah, he's right here. Exactly. Right here in My Palm Beach. Broward area, yeah. yeah. So y'all get a whole bunch of Broward people. Miami will probably have to like, Keep hearing y'all and keep exactly. seeing y'all got what y'all got, and they'll. It's worth the 40 minute drive. Yeah, they'll make their way up for sure. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You just gotta convince them. Like, yeah, you can stay down in Miami, but you know you got more options up here. Yeah, for sure. Um, I need shorts too. Some shorts. Let's see. Um, rude shorts. Y'all got shorts. I be needing some shorts. I be cutting them. It's <laughs> might be cutting. <laughs> and wash. Yeah, I need them bad. Yeah, and then you need the jacket too, right? I got the jacket, so I need the, the shorts to oh, go with it, or the either the shorts okay. or the pants. Okay. I got these size? Yep. Yeah, those are your size. Let me get these. Okay. 36? Yeah, 36. These are like, yeah, 36. We'll go grab the, uh, the sink set. All right. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> you got your shoes. You, you feeling good? You got some shoes, huh? You got some shoes, huh? So we did actually get in this bone pair in a 38. You know, because they run small. And then we also have... It's, I think it's this pair. Let me double check. I think it's that tie-dye pair. Yeah, that tie-dye pair. We have a 38 in those. Let me do these, though. And then uh, we do we do these shorts. I got bone shorts too. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Let me do that, and then let me do it with the um. What are you? With those black shorts. Yeah, with the black red. shorts. Yeah. White tee. Yeah. I got you. And then there's also the hoodie. It's kind of crazy. Got that that good homeless vibe. <laughs> Thermal lines. Yeah, that's great. Let me fucking that out. Yeah. So I'll show you how much I think these is. Louis pants. Comment below. These Louis pants, how much? You said almost 5,000 years, right? What play you got kicking out tonight? Uh, Yep. Hopefully tonight can pay for all the things I'm buying from you guys. Uh, hey. <laughs> I know how your odds are. That shit's definitely gonna hit. 
definitely hit. Then we got NFL right around the corner. All the guys start gambling right now. Yeah, everybody is. Yeah. You don't have to buy the whole set either. If you just want to buy some more, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can fix it all up. So, what's the cheapest red chrome jeans? So, if you start with something like this, where it just has like the hardware, yeah. something like that is going to run you right around like two grand. As soon as, as soon as you start putting crosses on it, it goes up real quick. So, like, yeah, this is going to be like the cheapest pair right now. Did them on denim crosses. That's six thousand. Um, and then you have a lot of other pairs that are right around like right. 65, 7. So what's it's the like highest? Pretty common. Uh, the most expensive pair we have right now is this. So this is a Europe exclusive. It's called the stencil denim. So it's all like, you know, fully printed. It's got a neat how they did this. So when they ship their furniture, Pro makes furniture too. Okay. Uh, when they put their furniture in the shipping crates, they put this same like motif, like the Pro art print, like the you know the numbers, whatever it is. They do those big prints all over the boxes. So they took some inspiration for that to um, to make the jeans. Uh, these are twelve thousand five hundred. The Rupert's will only be 20 per colorway. 20. So like there's 20 pair in purple. We actually have another pair that's right here. That's with red and blue crosses. That one came out in the States. These came out in Europe, and then they also made a pair for Asia. This came out, so these are actually really interesting. This is a collaboration with Off-White. Okay. This happened back in 2016. When these first came out, they were only going for 3000 This is 10000 plus. Now, it's been a couple of years, you know what I mean? And Off-White's developed, Urge's name has developed, Chrome has developed, but like, you know, this whole market is crazy too. Like, people literally buy them from us and then take them overseas and sell them. Like people from China, Japan, they buy them off our website all day long. And then they take them over there and sell them for even more. Because like everywhere else in the world is fascinated with like Americana and like stuff that we're interested in. We set the trends. Exactly. We set the trends, and they got the money. So they'll pay whatever. Literally arm and a leg. They do not care. Where are these? These are a little bit more common. Uh, but it's a cool shoe. The, uh, the white. Around the letters is 3M. So if you're out of night, you take a picture of it. That's going to pop. Uh, purple one is the most rare. Let's go for like 900 to 1,000. Uh, the green pair is around like 600. These are around like 5. And these are like 4. Yeah, we need have the, uh, No. You never have that shit inside. The only reason this one, we had this one now for like probably two weeks. It's a three and a half. Like no one wears that size. You got this one right here? Say vanity? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would. I, I'd probably go with the XL, just for the way it fits. Yeah. Having any fun? No? No fun? Are you excited for your new shoes? A little bit? A little bit? Are you excited to go back to school? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> they are kind of difficult to get on and off. So, like, a lot of people do size up on them. How does it feel like length-wise? They don't look long. Yeah, they don't look long, but I can see them. Yeah. You got the, um, that orange. Yeah. The orange the with the all over crosses? Nah, just the. Uh,
Like it's a black hoodie? Nah, nah, it's an orange hoodie. That's really dollars. I'm trip, trip. I just bought half the store. All the store yard. Shout out to the Braves. <laughs> Shout out to the Braves. We have $6 billion out of our hey, hey, Every beer over there. I bought it. Bought it. <laughs> this is actually Q's house. This is all stage. My closet. This, <laughs> yeah, this is all stage. We're in a section of his closet right now. Hey. He just likes yeah. to like pretend like he's buying it again. I don't know. Yes. For y'all, man. The content. <laughs> Gotta keep the content going. Well, y'all got these too? What's up? It's not these, then no. I think they're black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy. Um. Daddy. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Spent 10,000, had to buy some bear bricks or brick bears, whatever, just to put it up to that 10,000 range. I ain't want to buy no more clothes, had no more need for them. But look, we betting that same amount on tonight's game, so don't miss it. We're making all this shit back tonight. About to head to the crib, take y'all with us, probably stop and get some food. Feel me, give y'all some game while we chill, eat, and relax and watch this winter, man. So, hey, stay to the next part. I'm going to give y'all some free game, especially about this gambling world. I hope you're enjoying this video. Hey, you know, we just doing this stuff for y'all. I do this stuff regularly, but now we vlogging, so we bring y'all with us, man. So see y'all later. Hey, so look, man, just got back to the brib, cooling, couple pieces that we got from uh, shopping we was out today. Now, we're gonna make this all back. You feel me? This only a couple, couple casual key pieces, I'd say. We're gonna make it back. So we're gonna start with the jeans. Get some uh, lost shadow jeans. Oh, I'm gonna tell you the price of everything too, so we can tally it up. Calm, calm, calm. Let me see these right here was um seventeen. 
1700. Then we got these capital jeans. These might be my this might be my favorite piece of the pickup, man. Huh? This hall. Uh, capital jeans. You don't know. I don't even need to be telling y'all the jeans name. I don't want y'all biting too much. You feel me? Then I see y'all in the jeans I got on. These was two bands. And then 37000 in Japanese or Chinese dollars. So I think y'all heard the price on these. Got these purple Air Force looking John. I pull with these too. Feel me? These are like 900. All right, we got this Saint set, Saint Vanity. Feel me? Front of the T-shirt, back of the T-shirt. This was three, three, four hundred. Got the shorts to go with it. That was like three, three hundred something. Then we got this chrome, orange chrome hoodie. You feel me? I was close to like 15, something like that. Then we got this, another Saint Vanity shirt. I fuck with this shirt. With like some calm shit. I don't know the price on this one. Probably about the same though as the first shirt, like 300 something. And then we got two chrome hats, triple cross hat, blue with the camo, blue white with the camo, fuck with that. And then uh, camo with the orange crosses, go with this hoodie, fuck with that. These hats are like 500 a piece, so 1,000 together. I don't know where that put us out on the screen, maybe we'll tally it up in the video, but we got four brick bears, bear bricks, whatever. We got one right here in the game room and then we got the other one on top of the refrigerator and shit. Feel me? So, we got two more downstairs. Each of those was about 500. So, two bands on brick beer, 8K in drip. Feel me? I bet y'all looking at all these clothes like, that don't even look like 8K work. Or, or you probably saying like, I would never spend 8K just to get these little bit of clothes. But, to each his own. You feel me? When y'all see me on Instagram, dripped out, make sure y'all like, comment, and, and do all that. Oh, yeah, and then I forgot to tell y'all the other pair of shoes I had got um, was them blue Rick Owens, them blue jumbo lace Rick Owens, uh, low top motherfuckers. Them probably about 1600 Them might be more than 1600 What that boy say? He say they don't even really make them in them colors. Yeah, probably like 16 Yeah, them bitches. So them bitches probably way higher than retail. But. Let me see. Say okay, two, fifteen, two, fifteen, thirty-five, nine, forty-four, about six, five bands, fifteen, sixty-five, two hats. Yeah, about fifteen hundred for the ricks. Yeah, that's about that's about accurate. That's about accurate. So, hey, the ricks gonna be so hard. I can't wait to put them bitches on. Oh my goodness, I gotta get some fun shit with them. Now we about to go win this money back from buying all this shit. About to head to the casino. Uh, I'll probably place my bet on the way because we're running behind on time. So I'll place my bet online and then we'll probably hit the tables or something, watch the game at the casino. But we'll see y'all there. I'll let y'all know what we're taking to get this money back from buying this, uh, having this little shopping spree. And yeah, W on the way. Hey, so look, man, we just got to the sports book. Getting ready to make all this money back that we spent today, man. So look, this is what we're doing. We taking the Dodgers and the Giants over seven and a half, man. Should be easy money. Be everybody on board. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if y'all like these videos, man. If you made it this far, come on, man. You gotta like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, you definitely rocking with the content. And look, if you stay a little longer, you might stay long enough to see what we got planned for this giveaway. But we about to go in here probably eat, sweat these bets out, but hey, we win, we win, we lose, we lose, but we will come out victorious, trust me. It's not this hard to make money back that we just spent. It's daily shit, day in the life shit, so just stay tuned, watch this. We're gonna make all the bread back, San Francisco Giants, plus one and a half. We on that, man, we standing on that, so after strong I get this fuel in, strong island motherfucker, appreciate man, that. Man. Cheers, man. Got the game on. 
MLB. You gotta love it. Yeah, let me see, we got the game going in this bitch on bro. On bro. On bro now. D-Boy finna come through. Shit finna be easy money. We just cool it. Boys on the Baccarat table. How much you want on Baccarat, huh? 5,000. How much? Little 5K, 5K. 5K to start the night off. Then yeah. load it up on the game. Hey, let's go. Damn. Cheers. That ball at. Oh. But yeah, man, we're going we gonna to let y'all boys sweat this one out with us, man. Let's go. You yeah, feel me? Got the good eats going. Get butt out there, baby. Motion. Yes, sir. Chapman, take us to the upper level. He'll take us to the upper level. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Send them deep, Chat. He left it too high. If it's already up, it's going out. He ain't even run. Bring him in. Bring him in. Keep running, boy. Yes, sir. On the air, dog. On the ad, dog. On the ad, dog. And I told him sprinkle a little bit on that money line plus money. <laughs> okay, I told him to get a little plus money too. Damn, that boy went over like five. Hey, we're gonna treat this like halftime. Go fight this blunt out, though. We're gonna be back on them. Trust me. We're covering everything. And, like I said, we got two, two bets in action right now, man. Both of them by the cast. We wanted a little bit more than oh. what we what we spent. We coming for the gusto. Hey, we gonna see y'all in a little bit. They got experience what's going on here. Hey, you gotta understand, we got underdog winners, man. I don't know who give out dodges anything over minus 200, but it ain't me. Oh! Oh, bring them in. Bring Let's in, fucking man. go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Hey, no outfit, man. GG's in the chat. We got that one back. Hey, we don't even got to record them up here. Like, we did what we came to do. Make the bread back. And all we do is just collect. Had two bets. Online and in person, dog. Hey! What a ticket. You feel like we got the, 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 the magic, the magic meal ticket. <laughs> Still no outs, though. Oh, they got, oh, they got to get him off the mound. They got to get him off the mound. <laughs> he went right over him. Hey, this GG's, man. GG's. Both both bets hit. Over the over seven and a half. Giants plus one and a half. Whatever you call it. Everything hit, man. Let me show you. And I told and I told the client to take the money line for plus money. GG's, man. GG's. 8-1. Can they pay us early? Might as well. Why the fuck they got these movies so loud, bro? They trying to fuck up the copyright, bro. They trying to, they trying to, they trying to monetize my YouTube video. <laughs> See, that's why we can't do no shit in the casino, bro. What the fuck is how we get out of this shit? It's a blowout. But look, man, yesterday was a great day. As you see, we went on a shopping spree. We got right. Got some good clothes and shit like that. You feel me? Hold on, man. Let me let me get to, let me show y'all POV before I get off the highway. This shit make a bit get over, and it's just so sexy to the ear. That bitch just like I ain't even gotta press that bitch for real. And then when it stop, I need to get my shit to spit fire. Well, hey, what's that called? Y'all let me know. Comment below. What's it called when your shit spit fire? You feel me? Cause I know I know I could get that on this bitch. Cause my shit already be popping. Yeah, so y'all seen what we did yesterday, man. We had the Giants plus one and a half that hit, and then we also had the over seven and a half or yeah, seven and a half. Both of those plays hit. We only planned on betting one ten thousand dollar bet instead. In total, we bet twenty one thousand and easily cleared what we spent shopping earlier that day, earlier yesterday. But right now we're gonna go get some eats. Yeah, man. So. It's just good taking y'all with me, enjoying these vlogs, and let me tell y'all, bro, the thing with sports betting, I think I might have said this in the vlog already, but let me let y'all know, man, everybody makes a thing, it's all glitter and gold, like, you know, this video, 
I have a lot of y'all like, damn, let me go buy something and then see if I can make it back just off sports bet. But it's not that simple. You feel me? It don't be that simple. I make it look easy just because, you feel me? I've been in this industry long enough and I know what I'm doing to make sure that I get more wins than I get losses. So as long as I forever produce more wins and I do losses, then I pretty much always be successful in this game. You feel me? Only way you can't, you feel me, be really successful with more wins than losses is if you just bet outrageous odds. And, and I'm sure it ain't too many people out here betting minus 250s and shit, you feel me, all day, so. But, yeah, man, so like I was saying, this shit ain't just glitter and gold, bro. It take a lot of time, it take a lot of effort. And, and let me tell you like this, if you wasn't a kid in school that liked to study, and, and you feel me, be very knowledgeable, let me switch out this mode, then it's hard to jump in this game and say you're a handicapper or you handicap games. Because if you wasn't studying back in school, trust me, bro, you're not studying these games. Especially not to the T where you need to be to where you're going to be successful and have that win rate that all of us want, you feel me? So really, you got to put your head down. You got to grind. You got to know every indicator to look at. And that's kind of how it is. I, I, I like to compare sports gambling to trading only because just like trading, you have to find those indicators. Chill with that V6, bro. You're doing too much. Oh, shit. And I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. I thought I was about to miss my exit. But yeah, man, just like trading with sports betting, you got to find those key indicators that help you indicate what's going to happen. And that's how you could try to predict those games. You feel me? Now, that sounds way easier than it is, but just letting y'all know, you got to make sure that you're tapped in, especially mentally, to be able to go out here and do the research and find all the things. Hey, actually, my next video, if y'all want that, get this video. I'm going to tell y'all the video idea first. So the idea is going to be, I'm going to give y'all five strategies on how I got rich sports betting. You feel me? So five strategies on how I got rich sports betting. I'll make that the next video. If y'all get this vlog to a light, easy 500 likes. 500 likes. All you got to do is write. Now, you already watched this whole video. So you feel me? Y'all in tune with what I do and, and, and y'all rocking with me if y'all made it this far. So you should be subscribed. If you ain't subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe now. And then on top of that, go ahead and smash that like button so I can give y'all my strategies to help y'all become rich in sports betting. You feel me? Similar to how I am. But this shit ain't take you no know, 60, 60 weeks. You feel me? Shit like that. This shit ain't take that that type of time this shit took years and years and years like i've been sports betting since i was literally like 14 15 years old so i'm 25 now so i ain't just make millions out of snap of a finger doing this gambling job so that that should tell y'all a lot as well so stay down your time is coming never predict your success off somebody else's success and just make sure y'all keep being y'all man stay where y'all feet are when i say that i mean you feel me? Wherever you're at, be there. Have your mind there. Mentally focus on. Mentally focus on doing whatever it is that you're doing at that exact moment. You feel me? Right now, it's watching this video. So the things I'm saying, interpret it, and you feel me? Process it, and make sure that you're learning from these type of videos, man. Because this just ain't a flex video. Of course, that's what it looks as. Because I'm just spending ten thousand and making it back that easy, but. This ain't the flex. This is more so motivate, inspire, and make sure others are in tune with this and what's going on and, and showing them there's ways that you could be successful in life in any area, any aspect, you feel me? I go off that. It's a simple cliche thing and saying, but when I was coming up, bro, I was taught you could be whatever you want to be, man. You could do whatever you want to do in this thing we call life. And that's how I attack each and every day. So if I put my mind to something, I go attack it and I go get it, man. And I just want y'all to have that same push and help y'all find that passion y'all have to give y'all that push to do it, man. It could be, it could be clothing. It could be, you feel me? E-commerce. A lot of y'all probably watching this sports betting, but whatever it is, attack it fully, bro. Each and every day, man. So appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all at dinner. Man, so 
J got to the little spot I'm finna eat at. I'm gonna get in this little spot, let y'all see what it's hitting on. Should be good, should be good eats. This is a regular day in the life shit. Let me show y'all the fit. You feel me? Light shit, light shit. Calm shit. Beautiful day out. You feel me? Appetizers come out. Shit looking delicious. Red thing on bling bow. That piece of blizzard, baby. Bye. Bro, see, I don't know. Give me the right there. Got me the shirt, dog. Make sure that y'all look okay, okay, dog. That about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My big ribeye, dog. Dipping out a thing, dog. Feel me? Good eating, dog. All right, so that was some good eats, man. You feel me? Nothing crazy. Right. Hey, and we're going to end the vlog off just like that. Man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all more than y'all know, man. Y'all just watching and smashing that like button along. Give me so much joy. You feel me? I, I, I'm like, I'm low-key starting to mess with this vlog and jump, man. It's calm. It's cool. You feel me? I be doing this type of jump in life anyway, so why not document it and, and let y'all see all of it? But look, it's 2 a.m. right now. I'm about to get y'all a POV of driving the lamb. Make it feel like y'all driving the lamb to end this vlog off. So, hey, like I tell y'all all the time, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and put them post notifications on if you want to alert every time I drop, man. We dropping consistently. Like I say, man, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do like we did for this vlog and miss two weeks and then come back with a video. We dropping consistent. So after this video, I'm probably finna drop another video right after this you feel me so y'all gonna see this get uploaded and i'm dropping another one but tap in here go to pov and then now let me give y'all a course so oh you already hit a difference oh, hold on i'm gonna catch up I finally got to hear one tag. When that jump come on, that little caution shit, I mean, police in sight, slow this shit down. Hey. And we out!